Hey everybody, Al here. Uh, at a local car show, uh, I spotted a really nice white Box Nova. Uh, looked pretty cool. Took a close look and found that this was no ordinary Box Nova. Check it out. Wow, Glenn. This is really nice. I, I have to say that I've always loved the Box Nova. I, I, uh, there's, there's something about it. The car's compact. Uh, you, can, you can pack a, a really strong small block into it. They got really nice lines. Just beautiful. Yeah, 66, 67 are the only two years uh, of this body. Uh, this car was uh, built in Tennessee uh, around Bristol. Tennessee, uh, no kidding. Yeah, yeah. Cars. Now, now this, it, this, is this, this is a super sport? No. It is not a super no, sport. It's okay. not a super sport. It was an original V8 car with a three on a tree. Oh, no kidding. <laughs> yeah. Column shifter. Yeah. Wow. It's, it's so straight. And, um, you know, what I find interesting is you've got, a chrome piece on the rocker panel and there's sort of that bead coming across the door with 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 nothing it's just painted yeah originally uh there was a door edge guard across there gotcha uh it's been taken off looks nice without it i like it better without it some people leave them on and you know, it's kind of takes away from the car and you've got the super sport emblems on it Yes, they, uh, ever who owned this car previously put uh, all this super sport stuff on it. Um, but I've looked up the VIN number on it and it is, it was original V8 three speed car. Nice exhaust, uh, the, the chrome exhaust tips, they look beautiful. Oh, yes. Let me yep. open the trunk for you. That is, that's very well done. Yeah, Jacks in uh, Bristol, Tennessee, did the interior and the trunk on this car. He does nice works, spare tire, jack, everything is behind the custom work right here. You got the battery stashed in the back. The battery's in the trunk, yes. Really cool. The uh, uh, the charging thing. When you park it, is right here underneath the car. Okay. And it's uh, the color is white diamond pearl. You know, it does have um, like a fine metallic in it. Yes, that's the pearl. Really nice looking color. Yeah. Let's take a look at the interior. All right. You know, this this those seats look a little Pontiac-ish to me. Well, they're out of a six-cylinder SS car. Okay. I see this. Well, I mean, this could be typical GM. I, I really don't know them that well, but that's I the back a... of a bucket seat. Oh. That was the difference between the SS bench seat and a regular bench seat. Is the the back the way the back is. Well, that's neat. I never would have known that. And there's the... The upholstery is very well done. Yeah, take a look at the headliner. Oh, I see the, uh, the bow tie emblem. There it is. Ah, very cool. Very nice. <laughs> it's got uh, vintage air on it. It's got Dakota Digital Dash, power steering, power brakes, rack and pinion. You got a, a, a B and M shifter too. Yes. There's more Super Sport stuff. Well, if you didn't know the car wasn't a Super Sport, you would never know it. 
I can see the what's left of the three speed on the car. Yes, yes. <laughs> and you, like you say, digital digital gauges. Has, yeah, it has digital gauges in it. I like to see what they look like when you start it up. Oh, all right. Yeah, let's check it out. Yeah, so there's the digital gauges. In a in a in a '66 box Nova. Yeah. That's that's really something. I gotta tell you, some people are so clever with the way they do things. Oh yeah. They have electric antenna. Electric antenna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love it. Yeah. So you got a little bit of an upgraded stereo in there. That's cool. It does. Yes. So if you hit the gas, you'll see you see the gauges move yeah. around. So cool. Yeah, man. Way to go. Yeah, I mean, the, the, the pearl white, it looks different in different shades. It's a very neat color. Almost looks like a Lexus color. Cadillac. Cadillac. See, I was close. <laughs> yeah, one of the upscale cars. Really nice. Hey, what do you say we pop the hood? All right, let's do it. That is a pretty looking small block. Lots of chrome. And you got two four barrels. Yes. Oh, wow. And that's power brakes. That's power brakes. Vacuum canister, right. yeah. Cool. Oh, so you've got, you've got a completely different front suspension in this car. Yes, yes. The whole front clip's different. Oh, tell us about that. Well, it's got a Heights uh, front clip. That's what the two bars are coming down the sides and they go across the front. Um, it eliminates the uh, shock towers. Mm -hmm, on I see the, that. Um, those inner fenders are powder coated. And then I have uh, vintage air, air conditioning. And excuse my alternator, the chrome one's at the house. <laughs> <laughs> that looks like a MSD like a ignition. Brand new alternator. It, uh, Idle Brock intake, carburetors. Really cool. We've got some mirrors here on the top of the hood. And that's a true cow hood. Yes. Fresh air. Yeah. yeah. Wow. You know, I always love these cars because you could you could snake a, a small block in it, but I think this car could, could accept a big block. Ah, uh, there are some 396s out there in them. They, with the uh, inner fenders from Heights, yep. these smooth ones, you can put a big block in without any trouble. It looks like you got room, maybe a little tight there uh, by the brake booster, but I think you'd get around that. Wow, what a surprise. Oh yeah, yeah. It's got, uh, we've got an exterior firewall on it. It's uh, got two firewalls. The original one is behind the one that's slick right there. That's nice, that's safe and it looks good. We've got, uh, some reflective material up here. Mm -hmm. Great at the shows, huh? Oh yeah, yeah. Wow. This car generally wins a trophy everywhere it goes. It's, it's that nice. You get it clean. Well, it gets my vote. It what do you say? Everybody's vote. <laughs> what do you say we start it up? Oh, all right. All right, let's do it. Takes you back, don't it? Hey, that's a beautiful car you got there, my friend. Thank you. All right, Coyote Car Guy, over and out. Well, how about that? What looks like a plain Jane box Nova turns out to be something really incredible. Starts with the beautiful pearl white paint, curry rear end, beautifully reupholstered uh, interior and trunk, digital gauges. And if that wasn't enough, you get underneath the hood, you see this beautiful small block 350 with dual quads 
and a completely revised front end. Absolutely unbelievable. Never would have expected it. Looks like a plain Jane white box Nova. What a sleeper, what a machine. Nice going, Glenn. Really love that car. Uh, just goes to show you, you never know what you're gonna find. Absolutely love it. Good example of what, what goes on down here in Southwest Florida. There's always something new and exciting. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do, you won't be disappointed. And when you're viewing the videos, hit that like button and share. So having a really good time down here in Southwest Florida, seeing lots of cars, looking forward to bringing you more. Coyote Car Guy, over and out.